Hello, not the best lighting or sound right now, but this isn't how my normal videos go. I just needed a quick intro to my nail set video. Did these nails here, this this side looks not that great. This side looks better, my Burberry fall nails. Um, My first ever nail video, I did a voiceover just because when I'm doing nails, I need to zone in and focus. <laughs> um, So yeah, also my first voiceover video. Let me know how you guys feel about the nail videos, how you want them to look, or what kind of sets you want to see from me. I already have planned out my my Thanksgiving nail set, which I have to do very soon. Very soon. Because it's the 17th, Thanksgiving is the 24th. So, yeah, here's my nail video. Hope you guys enjoy it and like it. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe, all that jazz stuff. Let's get it. Okay, so here you see the nails are already prepped. They are shaped to my nail bed specifically, cut down to the length I like, and filed and buffed. Now I'm just taking nail polish remover or acetone to clean up any of the dust and powder that's on the nail so they are ready to be painted. And I'm using a no lint. Um, cotton square by the way got these at tj maxx the no lint is essential and then you could see the difference between the acetone and without the acetone now i'm starting off with the pinkies because they're the most basic nail they're mm. just one color i'm taking this dark brown color i'll link the nail polish sets i use down below they're all from amazon and they're almost all from a set I don't use a gel base coat when I do these nails because I saw on TikTok like you just don't need it. So I'm going all over the nail with this dark brown, including the tip of the nail, like the edge, to really encapsulate the gel polish to make sure there's no lifting later on. Here it goes. It's also a pretty thin coat, not too thick, otherwise it it won't cure properly and that gets cured for 60 seconds then I just put another layer and again cure it for 60 seconds yes queen and then this is the Le Macron gel shine top coat really nice top coat and I got this on Ulta I believe it's pretty expensive like 12 bucks for a top coat but it is really nice I put a decently thick layer but not too too thick and i think i show you the difference yep shiny very pretty putting that on the next nail as well then with the top coat i usually cure it for 60 seconds twice or if i can i just let it keep curing and then when i finish my nail sets it all gets cured together like one or two more times for 60 seconds come on pinky so cute it's a no wipe top coat as well you don't have to wipe off any sticky residue now i'm going with the thumbs the zilla macaron mini creme boulet color i'll link these as well and this is a nude jelly polish so it's thinner and clearer it's jelly we know what jelly is right i'm using it basically the same as the brown thinner layers curing it for 60 seconds and i actually do a couple of coats of this because it's it's pretty sheer but this gives a nice like nude illusion effect like it's actually your nail and now this is the middle finger because it's getting the same color French tip, so I'm just doing them at the same time. So when I finish one polish, usually the other nails are already cured and ready to be painted. Here you see, of course, more layers. It's pretty redundant. I do minimum two layers, but sometimes I feel a little froggy and I'm like, mm, let me do the three. I showed you the difference there between the one versus the two. 
And of course, there's the second layer on the middle fingers. Pretty simple, nothing crazy going on. Again, thin layers is key here to make sure they cure properly and cure all the way through. If not, a thick layer, again, will not cure properly and then it'll start lifting or bubbling. I used to get bubbling in my gel, in my gel, in my gel polish um, way back when I was using gel. There's the difference between the two and the three. So here's my last layer. And after this, we get into my French tip. I probably actually should have done the two layers. I don't know. It's always so tricky. Again, 60 seconds. And I'm using the same dark brown I use on the pinky. I'm just putting that on a box. I don't have a nail palette or anything, a polish palette. Taking a long, skinny, bristled nail art brush, putting a line through the middle, down towards where I want Oh, that's when my, my camera fell. Down to where I want the tip to end, and then a line across that. Then I'm making lines down the apex, down the sides of my nails. And I, I like a nice long French tip, like elongated throughout the side of my nail. I just like that look. It looks a little, a little batty, a little cool. I don't know. That's just my vibe. You can do your French tip however you like. You can use... Um, nail stickers if that helps you i'm just filling in the brown here as well and once it's all filled in it takes a while with the little brush but it's fine once it's all filled in i just take my time to perfect the french tip and i take this thicker nail brush with some nail polish remover not too much just enough to make sure it's on the brush not soaking and i clean up the french tip like this as well i could clean up any design like this really good hack cure that 60 seconds i did another layer of the brown just didn't record it and of course the gel top coat ooh glossy taco christine should really come out with some gel polish look how glossy shiny beautiful and of course after my gel top coat it gets cured 60 seconds twice or if I have time to just let it keep curing I'll cure it maybe three or four times um, at least until the top coat is not not sticky or could get a fingerprint in it if you know what I mean we, we all been there so those are my thumbs done Oh, they're not getting the same color. Okay, this is a, a pale yellow. And I'm doing the French tip the same way as the brown, the line down the middle, across, and then making my French tip based on that apex, going straight down. And filling in the color. I love this soft yellow. I think it's really pretty. And I'm just filling it in. Then I'll go in and perfect it as much as I can. Let it cure 60 seconds. And here we go again with my glossy top coat. Again, a pretty thick layer, but not too thick where it looks crazy. Okay. And always get the, the tip of the nail. So it's all cured and encapsulated in there. We're over halfway done. Okay, I'm taking the creme brulee shade again. I don't know if this is the pointer or the ring finger, but they're basically getting the same design. And I know which is which because I put a, a P for pointer underneath my pointer nails. But obviously you can't see that. So they're getting, you know three coats of this cream jelly color and you can use any cream jelly colors you have and whatever you you like best for your skin tone and for your nails it's very like a skin tone preference in my opinion yeah I'm pretty sure 
I'm pretty sure these are the ring fingers. I don't know, because they're pretty much the same size for me on my hands. Then those cured 60 seconds. I did three coats, cured them all 60 seconds. I'm taking the yellow again. This is where things start to get dicey for me. And I crawl so you can run. But here we are. I'll let you know what I did and then the better way of doing it. I took these tip guides. I got them off Amazon. They're also French tip, but I didn't get these until after I already did the French tips. So I'm taking the straight edge stickers and putting them on the far side of the nail. You could put either side, whatever you want. And then another sticker to give me a decently thick straight line um, vertically down the nail. I'm painting it with the light yellow. So why did I put the yellow on the box? Don't know, cause cause I didn't need it. Um, this is where I messed up because I actually cured the nail with the stickers. I actually would now in hindsight take the stickers off, clean up the line work, and then cure it because you'll see there were mistakes underneath the stickers that actually cured um, during that sixty seconds and. I could not fix them, but I tried my best to work around it. <laughs> these are the other nails. I'm guessing these are the ring fingers. I'm basically doing the same thing. Just creating that thick line. And I try to get it as straight, parallel as, as possible, the stickers. So it's a nice and even line. So... Just take your time to work with it, whatever works best. I probably could have done it freehand, easily. And I did a second coat. I didn't show it, that's fine, because I was struggling. So I'm taking the stickers again, and I'm going horizontally across towards the top of the nail to get a thick line horizontally now, going in with yellow. Do I learn from my mistakes and take this off? No. But as you see, or did I? Did I? I don't think I did. As you see, it's they're not straight lines. It's not perfection. And that really bothered me. I started freaking out. But I did my best to remedy the situation. Now I'm taking a black, 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 black gel polish. The skinny brush is clean. I'm outlining the lines of the yellow that'll go all the way across the nail. As you can see, let's give you the Burberry effect. I love it. Even though the lines are not straight and that made me upset. Now I'm going down the nail all the way up and down, outlining the lines. Try not to get too thick of a line, but also not too thin that you don't see it, that it's not distinct. You could also probably use like a nice dark burgundy here. You know, whatever color combos suit you or make you happiest. <laughs> and I'm also doing it down the middle, but my video got corrupted. So I did the nails through the middle of those lines as well. So there's three black lines across, three black lines down. Now I'm taking the nail stickers towards the bottom of the nail for a nice thick line horizontally down the bottom. And I'm using the dark brown that I use on the pinky and the thumb to fill in this line. And you definitely want a darker color here because you want it to cover the black. And I learned from my mistakes. I'm taking the, I'm struggling, I'm struggling to take the nail stickers off. And then I'm going to clean up the lines. Thank God I did it because these lines are horrendous. But that's what it looks like. One coat cure for 60 seconds. Then the second coat, I use the thin nail brush just to perfect it. Make sure the line doesn't get wonky. 
don't really deepen up the color to cover the black. You can still kind of see the black, but nothing crazy. And in real life, you can't really tell. The camera and the lights really emphasize mm. those lines. Finally, glossy top coat on all of them. Cure them for however long my heart desires until they no longer feel sticky or they don't feel like tacky anymore that's the final nail set love her cute and gorgeous mm. all right thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you guys enjoy let me know if you do this nail set yourself and if you do like tag me in it i leave my social media down below and yeah stay tuned for more sets i always post my sets on my instagram and probably do a video again for the next set so that's it thank you guys so 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 much for watching hope to catch you in the next one